My name is Katie Nickel and I'm the fitness director here at the Harry and Rose Sampson Family JCC. And some things that you're going to notice are a bit different is we are all about physically distancing but staying socially connected. So before you even enter the building, there's a few things that you need to know. First, you'll notice that we have physically distanced, socially connected markers going all the way down our sidewalk, six feet apart. We are asking all of our members to slow down when entering and exiting the building. This will help keep us under capacity to keep you safe. Now, the other thing that we are asking everyone to do is to wear a mask upon entering and when you are not in your workout. So I'm not gonna put mine on now because it'll be a bit hard to hear me, but let's say you go in, you get on your treadmill, your mask is not needed. When you have off your treadmill and if you're just kind of walking around, mask needed. If you're coming in to utilize the pool, mask until you get down to the pool. That'll help keep everyone a bit safer. Let's go inside. When you enter the building, you'll still be greeted by a familiar face. However, we are asking that you round the corner for a couple extra steps. So again, mask on. And you're gonna be scanning in here instead. And the additional steps are we are going to ask you a health questionnaire and we're doing temperature checks. From there, we're gonna enter the building. So for our cardio equipment, again, there's a 30 minute limit, but we've tried to make it as easy as possible for you. So first things first, when you find your designated cardio equipment that you'd like to use for the day, you can take your mask off. Next, you're gonna see a sign on all of our cardio equipment. Green means go, red means stop. So with green, simply push it off to the side and start your workout. When you're done, you're still going to wipe off your equipment, but please flip the sign to red. This will alert one of our fitness floor attendants to come and clean the machine thoroughly for the next member to use. Personal training looks a little bit different at the JCC as well. We're asking for our personal training clients to wait in their cars until their trainer calls or texts them to meet them at the front desk. There, the trainer will meet them and escort them to the designated area. There are three personal training spaces here at the J. The personal training studio, and then we've also converted our yoga studio and studio B into personal training spaces. Again, physically distanced, socially connected. So these spaces are completely off limit to members unless they are with a personal trainer by appointment only. For our members who are 60 years old and older, we've designated two pieces of cardio equipment that are physically distanced from the rest of our cardio equipment. These are reserved again for people who are 60 and older. The gym probably looks a little bit different. There is no recreation and there is no basketball. But we were able to take a large portion of our fitness floor equipment and spread it eight feet apart in the gym. So that way, again, physically distanced, socially connected. You'll find a wide variety of equipment too. Everything from our Cybex strength, ellipticals, bikes, expressos. We've even added some additional spin bikes up here too. So more options, but at a distance. At this time, our locker rooms are not open, which means you need to come ready to work out. No duffel bags, no coats, no personal items will be allowed on the fitness floor or anywhere in our facility. So again, remember, come ready to work out. We've moved our stretching area to keep you physically distant. Come on in. Once inside the family gym, we have eight designated stretching spaces that are all eight feet apart. With the stretching area, you have mats as well as any other accessories that you would need, like stretching straps, fender balls, foam rollers. And just like in our functional training space, we have a clean area and a used area. So while we're asking you to wipe down your equipment before and after, again, our fitness floor attendants will be cleaning all equipment once more just to make sure we get the piece of equipment completely clean. Let's head out the exit now. So to keep the flow of traffic as smooth as possible, we're gonna exit on this side for the stretching area. Which will take you back 
onto, into the gym, which is an extension of our fitness floor. To get to the pool, we're asking that members go through the gym. From here, you're going to be going down the stairs into the family locker room. For the pool, you need to reserve a lane. Your reservation will be for an hour, but your swim time will be 50 minutes. You'll then be given 10 minutes on the back end to change and exit the same way that you entered. Welcome back to the pool lap swimmers. A few changes should be immediately obvious. Number one, we're now entering the pool through the family locker room, which you've reached by walking through the gym and going downstairs or making arrangements to use the elevator upon arrival. Please observe how we've designated one of the changing rooms for incoming swimmers and the other for outgoing swimmers. If you haven't noticed already, you were able to sign up for 50 minutes of lap swim or water exercise daily in an assigned lane. We've numbered the lockers in the family locker room to correspond with your lane assignments. Please remember to bring your own lock as we do not have locks available for checkout at this time. Once you're showered and ready to enter the pool deck, you may leave your mask in your locker or with your things and come out to the pool. You'll see we've added this signage to help you find your lane. One thing to notice is that if you would like to use the stairs, you'll need to register for a time in lane 6, and if you need a ladder or the chairlift, you'll need to register for a time in lane 1. Once you've checked in with our aquatic staff and found your lane, the lane is yours to lap swim, water walk, or deep water exercise until the end of your reserve time. A few things to remember, in the interest of member and staff safety, we've removed all shareable swim aids. This includes pool noodles, swim belts, kickboards, floating dumbbells, etc. You are, however, welcome to bring your own if you like. We'd also ask that you limit the number of personal items you bring onto the pool deck and keep them at the end of your lane while swimming. Any questions, please feel free to reach out and we hope to see you all soon. Upon exiting, we ask that you exit here and that you slow down. When you are ready to exit, make sure you have your mask ready and put it on and your key fob. This will help us regulate our capacity. Thank you. Have a good day.